Jeremy is a garden snail. At first glance, he looks like any other snail. A bit small, perhaps, and one of his tentacles is slightly askew. Ooh. But there's actually something remarkable about Jeremy that makes him different from the rest. His shell coils to the left. Jeremy was discovered by a compost heap in southwest London. A retired scientist spotted the extraordinary mollusk and made a phone call to this man. Well, this man being me. Hi there, I'm Dr. Angus Davison. I've been researching snails now for 20 years and Jeremy might be the most unusual snail I've ever encountered. Most snail shells coil to the right. Jeremy's left coiling shell is exciting for us because it's extremely rare. It's an opportunity to research whether or not he can pass his unique traits onto his offspring. Eventually, we may even be able to apply our learnings to human beings. But in order to maximise the research, we need Jeremy to reproduce. Unfortunately, he's not the most seductive suitor. Typically, a snail's sex organs are on the right side of their head. But with Jeremy, his genitals are on the left. This little mix-up makes things a bit... awkward. We tried pairing Jeremy with a few righties, but I had no luck. So I went on the radio to make a casting call. So if you're really lucky and you find one of these very rare left coiling snails, then we, I'd love to hear from you. I was pessimistic at first. Snails like Jeremy are one in a hundred thousand. But within a few days, the phone started ringing. Hi, I'm Jade Milton in Ipswich, Suffolk. A snail enthusiast with over 300 snails. And this one, Lefty, might make the perfect match for Jeremy. Lefty and Jeremy both have left coiling shells and genitals on the left side. Oh. Right now the two are resting, but once their energies are high enough, we hope they'll mate and produce some eggs. We are looking for a connection between the snails and their eggs. A discovery could teach us something about our own genetics. And if not, at least Jeremy the left coiled snail was able to find love. And that's got to count for something.